Welcome to today's 3D print. We have more Valentine's prints. These are all done in Protoplastic Candy Apple Red and Cyanoc Red at PLA. Stay tuned. So, first up is this big one. I love this one. This is a vase, printed in vase mode, in Protoplastic Candy Apple Red on the ender. And he basically took a heart shape and started off thick, went super skinny, and then went super thick. And it is stunning. It's beautiful. This shape just screamed, use a pretty filament. And I really, really like it. Is that really dim, or is that just me? I think it's just me. Yeah. It's good enough, I think. Let me know if the lighting's not good. I can fix it in the future. But I, I think it's okay. But yeah, this came out beautiful. Even the inside has a really pretty look to it. I'm trying to see if you can see that glisten. And it's watertight. Now, I don't suggest filling more than about here because you want to keep the center of gravity down low so it doesn't tip over. But yeah, this is beautiful. Put a couple roses in there. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I also made a little vase. This is a little heart weird vase thing, or it's a pen holder. And I also found these cute little flowers you can print. So these are two pieces that they insert together. So you can print this in green if you wanted to and this in red. They're just little cheap like Minecraft style flowers. And so I stuck them in the little vase. But this vase is kind of cute. It's neat. Again, this is printed on the ANET E12. That was printed on the Ender 2. These are on the ANET E12. And it's nice. I like it. Links down below. Now these are pretty. These are roses. You have an open rose and you have closed rose. And I believe there's also stems that you can print out to put them on. Okay, because there's holes in the bottom there. But I just love them because they were pretty. I want to stick in the lady light in and see what it looks like at night. But this printed on the Ender 2, beautiful. Protopasta candy apple red. And this is the more closed up rose. Very cool. I like these. These are just these are just nice. Let's add some more stuff. Because otherwise this video is gonna be short, and I don't like short videos. Not that short. So this is interesting. This is a projector theme G. So you can see there's a heart shape in there. You put it over a flashlight or over your so you have a flashlight, you stick it on a flashlight like that. And when you turn it on, you get the imprint on the wall of the design. How cool is that? There you go. <laughs> Aren't I lovely? <laughs> but at night, this actually does shine up on the wall. I was impressed with how that works. It's made for to go on the iPhone or something like that, but I find it better just to find a... It has to be a single LED flashlight, and you want it in wide angle, not narrow mode. I don't know why the difference is. It's an optical thing. But like this flashlight here is perfect. You stick it on there and you have a heart shape on the wall. Looks just like that. I thought that was pretty slick. Link is down below. Protoplastic candy apple red. Then you have something in pink. This is one of my favorite pink colors. This is cup number six for a cup contest. It's a Valentine's cup. And it's got heart patterns all over it. And this is watertight. I did it in vase mode. The way I do my phases is I do three bottom layers at normal extrusion multiplier and then I create a separate process and simplify 3D and when I get to layer four I go into vase mode because you can now do multi-process with vase mode and I increase the extrusion to 115% which gives you that nice thick wall that's a little more tangible and watertight. So you can't do that for the whole model because then your bottom gets all screwy because you're over extruding. But when you're doing a single outline vase, you can over extrude by quite a bit. And you'll just end up with a thicker wall, which is what you want. Uh, and um, I'll have a link down below for this. This is printed in 3D Solutech Sakura Pink. It's one of my favorite filaments. I love this color pink. It's just a very... It reminds me of cherry blossoms. It's just a very pretty pink. I love this color. But um, if you want a, a nice pink color... That's a cool one to play with. One of you guys asked for cookie cutters. So we have the simple heart cookie cutter. I printed it upside down. 
that solve the overhang problem. And it's very simple. It's just a, it's got a slightly beveled edge. You don't even need that, but it's got a slightly beveled edge. And you just make your cookie imprints. Yeah. Change the scaling, make it the size of a piece of toast, and you can make heart shaped French toast. There you go. Then I also have heart with an arrow. So that is a cookie cutter. I sank it into the bed to get rid of the little peg that was on here. I guess so you can hold it and do it. It's like, screw that. Just hold the thing like this and make your cookies with it. You know, just don't get overcomplicated. The peg just adds unnecessary work. You either have to print like this with a bunch of um, bridging, or you have to print like this with a bunch of support. So just sink it, print it upside down, sink it into the bed until the peg goes away. Do your preview and make sure this is actually your first layer. And don't go too far down, otherwise you're going to make this too thin, because you want enough plastic here to actually give you some strength. And on this one here, I actually had to enable um, XY compensation for thickness, because these were too thin. And it wouldn't print it. So I added XY compensation to make the walls thicker, and then they printed fine. But yeah, very simple. Cookie cutter. So there you go. You got yourself a couple of Valentine's cookie cutters. You got quite a beautiful Valentine's cup. This would be a great pen holder for Valentine's Day, or put a couple of short flowers in. A little bouquet of flowers would look very pretty in that. A little projector, Batman style projector, but with a heart for Valentine's Day. A vase with a couple of Minecraft style flowers. I thought they were kind of cool. And you can, these are separate pieces, so you can print these in green and those in whatever color you want. So make a little bouquet of them. And then you have the beautiful open and closed roses. And the just beautifully elegant, simple, I just love the way it looks, heart vase. That just looks very pretty. That's it. I will have more to come in the future. You guys have a great day.